Hi folks, Jim Huss here from Keyboard Exchange International. We're very excited today because we're about to explain some of the main differences between the Leslie speaker models. And it comes at a time when we're also releasing a brand new video dramatizing the differences in our organs, specifically the B3, C3, and A100 models, along with a few extra bonus models. But today, since we're making and releasing this brand new video, about letting you hear the differences between the B3 and the C3, which by the way, that's the most often asked question that we get. What's the difference between a B3 and a C3? And sometimes people ask about the A100s also. So this new video that we just uh, put out talks, lets you hear and talks about a hundred different organs being played so your ears can really listen carefully. Well, in conjunction with that video, we thought now would be the perfect time to tell everyone the difference between the Leslie models. And we're just going to focus on four models, but they're all in the same family, if you will. The brochures that you saw at the beginning of this video focus on the model 122 and 147. Now, in this side of me, we have the 122, and this uh, custom ebony Leslie speaker is what we call a 142. It will have, in both of these, a 122 power amp. Therefore, although they're different sizes, they have the exact same internal parts. And that's very significant. One's just shorter than the other, but they have the same internal parts. Now, in a similar fashion, we have the models 147 and 145. From the factory, they both had a 147 power amp. And we'll be showing you an example of a brand new 147 power amp with tubes. So if we were to divide the differences between these Leslie's right here in the middle, these two will have a 147 power amp. One's just a little bit shorter and they call it a 145. On this side, the 122 has a 122 power amp, as does the 142. So 122 and 142, same parts. 147, 145, they, they share the same set of parts. Now, why would you select one over the other? To my ear, they both sound, they all sound great. It's the way they wire up to a specific instrument. The 147 and 145 were basically developed to be more universal and easier to hook up to a wider variety of musical instruments, organs usually, specifically. The 122, 142 with a 122 power amp, essentially can only be used with Hammond organs with the traditional and standard hookups. So the 122, the 142, very traditional and exclusively for the use with Hammond organs unless you do modifications. 145, 147 can be used with a wider variety of musical instruments, but in fact they have the same amount of power, the same speakers. So they're all, in my opinion, equally wonderful as long as they are restored properly. So we've made another video showing the insides of these Leslie's and identifying some of the parts uh, which we would invite you to uh, also watch and see the insides of the instruments. But meanwhile we wanted to kind of clarify the differences in the models. We hope this video has been enjoyable and informative and most of the organs we sell will come with one of these types of Leslie's or as minor variation. The wood color can vary. We try to get them to match the organs as closely as possible. But they were made in two separate factories. So uh, sometimes a perfect color match is not always readily available.
but we do our best to make them match the org and it's part of what we try to do because we just like the aesthetics of matching cabinets. I did want to take this opportunity to point out a brand new power amp model 147. Now you'll notice it has uh, vacuum tubes and we buy uh, brand new matched sets of tongue sole uh, 6550s. These are our favorite uh, sounding tubes and um, they give a warm and brilliant sound at the same time. Here's a 12AU7 and here's an OC3 tube and that's standard on a 147 amplifier. We find the best tubes uh, in our opinion actually come from factories in Russia and we thank you for uh, the Russian people that continued making vacuum tubes long after we have done so in the United States. So uh, it's got very heavy duty transformers, a lot of really cool electronics on, on the underside that uh, all contribute to a wonderful Doppler Leslie sound. And when we don't put brand new amplifiers in our rebuilt Leslie's, we will do uh, a marvelous rebuild on the original power amps, but generally speaking, they'll have a lot of new parts in them and usually new tubes. Sometimes the old tubes sound great and you can't find anything better. Uh, but it's all a matter of deciding that uh, while the restoration process is going forward. So I just wanted to include a little bit more of information about a power amp for a Leslie speaker. The preamp is in the organ, the power amp is in the Leslie, and uh, these amplifiers and this equipment is a wonderful part of uh, the musical heritage of the Hammond organ and Leslie speaker. Thanks for your time and attention. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you have any specific questions, send us an email or send a comment. I'm Jim Huss, and I'll have a few concluding remarks at the end of this video. But thank you for your time and attention. God bless. Hi, I'm Jim Huss, speaking with you from the showroom at Keyboard Exchange International. We'd like to thank all of you who have helped us grow our business for the past 51 years. And it is our intent to find good homes for all the instruments we have gathered uh, from all over the United States. Thank you to the families that have preserved the instruments and then sold them to us knowing that we would find good homes for them. If you, on the other hand, are in need of an instrument, please give us a call. Uh, there's been a lot of effort to gather these instruments together and we would like to make you part of the Keyboard Exchange International family. Let's all work together to keep these fine instruments going long into the future so that we now and future generations can continue to enjoy the wonderful sound of the Hammond Tone Wheel Organ. God bless. Signing off.